Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Helen. I'm a classically trained flute player and a few months ago I did my first ever YouTube live stream where I reacted to a few um, pieces of music and this was one of those reactions. I hope you enjoy this. Jetro Tall, A New Day Yesterday, live at the Ohne Filter Extra show in Germany. And this is from September 1999. So let's see what kind of thing this is. I have actually, I have no idea what kind of song this is. Uh, I just picked it up and I noticed there is at least a tiny bit of flute on it. So I'm just like, let, let's roll on with it. I have no idea what to expect, really. Okay, let me show the video and let's go. <laughs> Let's put it a bit deeper. Oh. Very bluesy. My first and last time with you. Went walking through the woods now mm, And I kissed you once Oh, I had to leave the day Just when I thought I found you It wasn't you today Yesterday But it's an old day now Sorry for, for pausing in in middle of the solo. I feel like if I go any longer, I will forget part of the things that I've already I'm already thinking about saying or or mentioning. Uh, now I'm trying to remember what that instrument is called in English. Um, is it called harmonic harm harmonica? No, harmonica. Is it harmonica? Man, this this names mix up with other instruments in in Finnish language like harmonica in Finnish it's the uh, accordion for example so I, I'm always getting really um, <laughs> unsure what instrument is which and um, that if you if you uh, translate it directly from uh, Finnish to English, it's called lip harp, holy harp, lip harp. So that, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that is an instrument I tried to play as a kid. My I, I remember having um, like I didn't have one, but there was one at my grandma's uh, place. So I haven't given it a try at my adult age. Um, but what I noticed was the vibrato he was doing, he was kind of like shaking it <laughs> violently. Uh, I wonder if it if it's how it works or if you can actually um, use air pressure. I, I think air pressure might not work because I feel like you can't really um, control the loudness. It just then doesn't sound right. 
I, I'm, I'm sure if, if you know if that's possible, let me know. I really need to buy probably one at some point just just to see how it works and how to control it and what the limits are. He's really good at it, really. He's really good at it. Before we continue, I just want to take a second to thank all of my patrons and supporters. Thank you so much. You are making these videos possible for me. If you'd like to support what I do and get access to some extra content, check out the Patreon link from the description box below. Okay, let's go back to the video. Okay, this is a good uh, time to pause again. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so uh, the flute part kind of started interestli interestingly with uh, more sort of uh, rhythmic stuff. Like using a bit too much... Uh, too much. I, I don't. I don't think that's that's the right way to say it. But like using uh, a bit too much tongue to give it a. I, I don't think too much is a proper word, but rather using a lot of tongue to make the sounds come out, and then let the sound crack, rather than have a really uh, focused embouchure which directs the airflow. Um, I really like the solo, more solo-y part of it too. Um, I also noticed he made some sort of glissando there, but I couldn't, it, it was probably a, a finger glissando because I didn't see a uh, note bending happening on the flute, uh, which is what I normally do. Um, I, I, I'm not good at the finger glissandos. I've never really practiced it. Um, some newer classical pieces have actually that kind of stuff, but <laughs> never gotten used to it with a keyed flute. It's it's a challenge. I really, really do um, admire that skill. It requires a lot of uh, 
a lot of control and like you need to know what you are doing um like the the finger movement is so small that you need to be doing at once and you need to both be doing opening the key slowly and sliding your finger away and the movement is so small it's actually really tricky to get it right yeah it's it's really tricky i'm i'm not sure if that was the note actually what what he did it in but <laughs> you get the idea anyways it's really specific kind of finger movement that's easy to mess up and he did a very clear glissando so it didn't have a kind of like a lower and higher note but it was actually sliding um so i really do admire that that kind of <laughs> technique because that's that that's tricky af flutter tongue Pretty much anyone can do it who can say rrr. Um, singing and and playing the flute, it's relatively easy if you've played flute for 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 a bit longer at least. Um, but that technique, that's something I really, really admire a lot. <laughs> I'm waiting for his eyes to pop out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The the eyes are so expressive. Uh, like it, it is kind of funny. He he has this really expressive face. Uh, like he's it's part of the show, I guess, and part of his expressions, like ex the way of expressing music, I guess. Um, so someone mentioned this is uh, older Yetro Chol material uh, from the more bluesier days. It definitely was a very bluesy song. Very um, easy to listen to uh, compared to some of the tunes where they have weird time signatures or, or something like that going on. It, it, it was somewhat easy to listen to compared to that kind of stuff. Uh, I do like both. Um, for different situation. If I'm concentrating on what I'm listening to, um, then uh, I like a lot more that kind of music that gives something to concentrate on, really, like, like weird time signatures or something weird in the music part, not specifically the solos or instruments or that, but rather something musically a bit more uh, challenging going on. That's just how I um, listen to music. This is kind of music that I could be also listening to back on the background. 
studio version is very heavy. Okay, I need to listen to the studio version too. Uh, it is it is always a bit different from live uh, live live stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you on my next video. Bye bye.